Hey friends and happy holidays. Tonight I am at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Earlier this week they sent out a message to all the guests staying here that they are going to be testing fireworks at Magic Kingdom from 10.30 to 11.30. So we had plans to actually come out to California Grill to try all their new seasonal offerings and we decided tonight would be a perfect night for it. So let's go do this. I'll be joining up with a friend tonight. I just need to find her somewhere in the contemporary. Hopefully we'll meet up sooner or later. Oh, oh hey. Hi. Oh. Well, good to see you. Yeah, have a great one. Nice. See ya. Oh, actually, actually, if you're not doing anything, you want to hang out? Well, yeah, I was coming to find you. Not too sure if we're going to make it to the Magic Kingdom. It's looking a little rainy out and a little monorail riding by right now. Take a look at the sunset happening behind the castle though. Isn't that beautiful? I really love the way that looks right now because it is gray skies, but there's just one thin line of red that just makes it look beautiful. I had to give you the zoom in shot just so I can show you a little bit better how cool it looks. Since it is a little bit rainy out, we're gonna take the monorail, maybe take a pit stop at the Polynesian, and then see what it's like when we get to the Magic Kingdom. It's gotten real dark out. I just don't want the rain to be here. I'm stuck between two monorails. Look how cool this is. I love it. Magic Kingdom does close at eight o'clock, and it's now seven o'clock. So, like I said, we're gonna stop off at the Polynesian, and then even if we can just duck in the Magic Kingdom, just to say hello, that's all I'm happy. I'm happy for just the littlest things. I'm happy just to say hello to Main Street USA, Cinderella Castle, the Christmas tree. Just a quick hello and then bye and then be on our merry way. And if I can't make it into Magic Kingdom, we're just gonna actually take the monorail right back over here and get ready for our California Grill reservation at nine o'clock. <laughs> Looks like it's just a light drizzle, but we're going to have to walk to the Polynesian from the TTC. If you remember, they actually have the monorail ramp closed there. The reason we're actually going to make our journey over to the Polynesian is because if you recall, a couple weeks ago we did a holiday themed monorail crawl. And when we got to the Polynesian, they didn't have any holiday drinks, but now they have a holiday hot drink. And I'm excited to try it, so hopefully it's available. It was only about a two minute walk, but we are in the great ceremonial house. And now we want to find the hot holiday beverage they have. I don't know exactly where it's at, but we'll figure it out. Oh, and this is where it's at. This is kind of a strange location for them to actually be selling it. I thought they would sell it at Tambu Lounge, but actually I think it's a regular here. And here it is, the Tiki yeah. Toddy, a Polynesian spin on a holiday classic, a blend of rum, cranberry juice, lime juice, <laughs> served warm. <laughs> Look at that. That is the tiki toddy. Oh. It looks so delicious actually coming out of there. Oh my gosh. Look at the fire burning underneath it. Oh, there's a fire inside. I'm excited to try the hot beverage. Well, the tiki toddy. Now, I normally have never had a lot of hot toddies before. I've recently just started drinking them. So, uh, a tiki toddy. I don't know. Oh. It's like very uh, tiki-ish, I would say. I don't, know how to I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, a hot beverage, but you can taste like lemon and like it's like Hawaiian flavor, honestly. It's not too bad. But as we were sitting here, I noticed this sign over here. They have a new Trader Sam mug that just came out. I think I need to get it. It's a limited time being sold at the Tambu Lounge. I mean, we're here right now. It looks like they only got maybe less than 100 back there left. Holy moly, they really do only have less than a hundred. I gotta get one. I had to get that mug. I just was talking about how I've been actually growing my Tiki mug and this will be my first first edition purchase where I actually got it for the first edition. Like other ones I had to buy off resellers, but I bought this today. I feel good about that. Look at this, here it is. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? And then right at the bottom there, First edition. <laughs> I'm so happy. It cost $32 for that mug, and it actually came with the drink on the side. Now, I didn't finish my Tiki Toddy, so I'm like double fisting it at the moment, but I want to find out what's inside this drink here. 
So earlier I was trying to read the Tiki Toddy sign and then I stopped abruptly because I came to a word that I knew I was not going to pronounce right. But Jackie, please fill me on what that big F word was. The <laughs> big F word, I believe, is falernum. Falernum. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Fa it's falernum. Fancy and I falernum. It's bitter, and I believe both of these drinks. Both of those have drinks. It in them, so these have are two. It. Since we actually ended up getting two drinks here at the Polynesian, I don't think we're going to make Magic Kingdom. And it's okay because, like I said, the big thing that we wanted to come out here to do today was see if we can catch those fireworks and possibly try the seasonal drinks at the uh, California Grill. And now we're actually trying two more seasonal drinks. So this is like turning into kind of like a little bit of a holiday monorail crawl, but just a modified version of it. But with that, I think we are done here with the surprise drinks at the Polynesian. I'm gonna take my tiki mug and we're gonna get moving along here. And since we're actually already at the Polynesian, I think we're actually just gonna walk to the Grand Floridian and get the monorail from there. I think it's a little bit closer. You know what I mean? Depending on where you're at at the Polynesian, if you're at your hotel rooms, I feel like those are closer to TTC, but I think it's the same distance. So we're gonna head over to the Grand Floridian from here, catch the monorail and head back to the Contemporary for a reservation at California Grill. As we were walking over, I noticed the gates were open for the wedding pavilion and I've always wanted to actually walk across this bridge and I never have. So I might as well do it now. Look at us. This is like so amazing right now. The lighting, everything's dark around us. Unbelievable. I'm excited just to see what's back here. Look how amazing this is. Absolutely stunning. Disney fairy tale weddings. Look at that. They actually have like an espresso machine over there. Believe is on the doors. And this right here is where the actual ceremonies take place. Oh you can actually see, look at the rings as the handles. Wow, this is beautiful. I don't wanna open the doors or even try. I'm happy that the gates were open so we could take a peek see, but I'm happy this is a place I've never been before. Look at that mirror, how it has stars on it. Very classy. This looks like it's the outdoor ceremonial area. And take a look at this. Directly right there in the castle straight ahead. This is so awesome. I really like being in places that I've never been before. And the doors are actually open. So we actually talked to a couple people that were walking through here. They're actually getting married and uh, they're very excited. And I was like, wow, I'm just so fancy. I feel like this is awesome. That was a unique experience. I'm so happy. Now, I don't normally know if the gates are open and people can just come tour it, but today, I guess uh, we were just lucky, or maybe I just never noticed. And if you're at the Grand Florida and you can't just pass by without actually showing the tree because it's so beautiful. Look at how beautiful it is. The 12 days of Christmas is represented on that tree. Five golden rings. I wish we could have actually stayed at the Grand Floridian a little bit, but like I said, we have to get to our reservation. Here comes Monorail Lime. Hey, friend. And we need to get to the Contemporary, like I said, because nine o'clock for our reservation. We don't want to miss that because that's also where we're going to be watching the fireworks from if they happen. Gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's the water pageant. The water pageant lights are on. Oh my gosh. Do you see them? I do. That was At least we can see the Magic Kingdom though. There she is. What do you think about all that scrim above the train station? Oh boy. Now we gotta get the iguana down and get out. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> How awesome was it though that we were able to see the lights for the electric water pageant, right? We both got really excited. That was Yeah, really we did. Cool. Like, it was fun. I want to see it out there in the water. Yes. Thank you. We Thank made you it. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank Have you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. All the way up to the 15th floor, please. First class service. All checked in. We're getting our spot. I'm very happy that we're actually on this side. I've never sat over here before. And this is perfect because if that water pageant does take off, this is where we want to be. Now that we're actually at our table, the holiday cocktails, they don't have any literature for them yet. 
but she's going to find out what they are. We're gonna get it regardless because we want to try it. That's the main reason that we came to the California Grill. But they also told us that they're closing down the observation decks at 10 o'clock so we can't see the fireworks from here so we'll have to go to the spot that we normally watch it and normally they do have them open but because of the social distancing they don't want everyone just going out there and you know it's fine I understand that completely luckily we always have a plan in place and we have a spot that we normally do we just wanted to switch things up a little bit tonight and uh, yeah so we're good the holiday cocktail that they actually have is the ice wine martini. It's Belvedere with some kind of Videl ice wine, flame raisins on the vine. This seems very fancy, but they also have California Girl's signature cocktail, which is $137. Wow. One day I will try that cocktail, but not in the near future or anytime soon. And here it is. The Ice Martini. Cheers. Cheers. I'm excited to try this. I have high expectations. It seems very fancy. Mr. Belvedere agrees. Well, it doesn't taste like alcohol. I think this is going to be very good. I think this will sneak up on you. It smells like, like white wine. Yep. It smells like wine. I actually really like it. It does feel like I'm drinking ice. Ice. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah, that just happened. Cut that out. Oh no, it's staying in. <laughs> it's staying in. <laughs> and now I think we need to go find our other spot so we can get in line to actually watch the fireworks. They're about 20 minutes away, or just to test the fireworks. And we have arrived at our special location. What do you guys think? I think we got a good view. This is where we watched the fireworks last time. And we'll also see the water pageant if they actually come out. Like I said, I don't know what to expect from this tonight. We're just on like a hope and a prayer, but they did have the lights on. We did see it. Either way, there's gonna be something happening between 10.30 and 11.30, and we've got a good spot for it. Honestly, if there's absolutely no fireworks happening tonight, I'm just so happy that we've had so much fun. I mean, I was kind of holding off on filming some stuff because I didn't know how long we would be waiting. And also, at the California Grill, I thought we were going to be there for much longer than we were. But the fact that they were closing down the balconies at 10 o'clock, we had to like change up plans. This is where we normally do watch the fireworks, right here at Bay Lake Tower because it's just such an open spot. It's just me and Jackie here, and we have like kind of the whole place to ourselves. So it's really enjoyable and it's a good view. And like I said, even if there are no fireworks, it was such a great night. Take a look at this little diagram here. This is where we're actually standing. And if you look out, you have <laughs> Cinderella Castle, then you have Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, the Monorail, the Grand Floridian, and then this is also the Wedding Pavilion where we were actually walking around tonight. How cool is that? And I'll just show you a little bit over on this side. Oh, I love it up here so much. Another thing while I'm up here, I remembered I actually want to say a big happy birthday to my friend Grayson. 10 years old, buddy. Thanks so much for watching the videos. I hope you enjoy the fireworks when they happen. And something has already happened. Oh, did you just see that? I think you guys caught it actually, right? The castle turned off and then it just turned back on. That was really awesome that I was filming exactly at that moment. They happened well before 10.30, but I just caught a little bit. I believe it is uh, only 10.26, so the the actual notice said 10.30 to 11.30, so now we have to be on guard. On guard! Oh my gosh! It's happening again! Oh boy! Oh. <laughs> 
you did it! Oh my god, thank you. I'll get out of your way. Oh my god. And I think after waiting around a little bit, that's it. That was so much fun though. We did get to catch some fireworks. I feel like that's a win. And I just had an overall an amazing time tonight. Isn't this beautiful? I absolutely love it out here. Oh man, I could spend hours up here. I'm just so blessed and thankful for everything that I have. Anywho's, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.